what's going on people switch brew here and welcome back to another youtube video so in this youtube video it's probably going to be quite short and sweet but what i'm going to be showing you how to do is how to install fast cfw and this is now available for patched consoles so this is like consoles what require a mod chip um only issue with this fast cfw is basically when you first download it um for an unpatched console for example there's a massive long list and that'll allow you to boot into like stuff like Android and other things like Ubuntu, I don't know, um, reboot into Atmosphere and stuff. But on the patch consoles, unfortunately, due to how the system works and how it's totally different to the unpatched consoles, this will only allow you to reboot into Hecate. However, because I'm lazy, this does save holding down the power button, going to power options, clicking shut down or restart for it to boot into Hecate. Basically what you can do is open the Tesla menu which you will need installing on your Nintendo Switch console. If you don't have this I've got a video on my YouTube channel, I'll leave it in this video description if you guys want to um, download that and follow the video and add it to your console. So basically what this will allow you to do is you'll be able to open Tesla menu, go into fast CFW and then you will be able to choose a reboot to Hecate and this will take you straight back into Hecate rather than like I said holding the power button, go to power options and so forth. This will just do it a lot quicker. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in my Nintendo Switch console, I'm going to transfer this across to the console and then I'll show you guys how it works. So guys, as you can see, the switch is now plugged into the computer. I've done this by going into Hecate, into the tool section, into USB tools, and clicking on SD card and mounting this to my computer via a USB-C cable. You guys can obviously just take out the SD card and plug it into your PC, or you can use the way that I'm doing. It's totally up to you. The next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to download the FastCFW files. Now, I've put these on... I will put these, sorry, on my Mega account so you guys can download it from the video description this is basically set up for the patch consoles because as i said on the patch consoles the only thing you can do is boot into hecate nothing else works like trying to reboot into android it doesn't work that only works on the v1 consoles so what i'll do is i'll put the mariko version on mega with the file the INI file which I've got set up for patch consoles but what I'll also do is I'll put a separate one on there for um, V1 consoles because if you guys are interested in using this on a V1 console obviously you've got access to more options such as you can reboot into stuff like Android, um, Atmosphere, Hecate and Ubuntu and many other things but like I say on the patch consoles you are pretty limited on to what you can boot into. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to open the fast CFW Mariko support folder and you want to go ahead and go into the overlay folder. Now like I said earlier you're going to need Tesla menu installed on your Nintendo Switch and once you have got Tesla menu installed if you scroll down on your SD card and go to Switch you should see a dot overlays folder. If you don't see the dot overlays folder you will need to um, Go into the options on your computer and um, there's an option somewhere, I'm not, I can't rem entirely remember how to get to it, but it's basically an option what allows you to show hidden folders and files because sometimes I believe it hides this dot overlays folder so you will need to enable that on your computer. So once you've got into the switch folder and you can see the dot overlays folder, you want to open that up. And as you can see, I've already got this on my Switch, but I'll replace it just for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to drag this file across from here, and I'm going to go ahead and click Replace. Once we've done that, you can go back out of here, and you will see a config folder. So if I go back on my SD card, back again to the main root, and we're going to now look for the folder called config. You want to go into that folder and you want to go into the config folder from the downloaded files and what you're going to do is drag fast cfw switch across to your config folder like i said i've already got this but for the purpose of the video i will just replace it and if i go into the fast cfw switch folder and go into the config.ini as you can see all you've got in there is hecate like i've said this is probably the third time i've said it now on the patch consoles this is all you can get into stuff like android and everything else doesn't work but on the v1 consoles however 
there'll be multiple options in here and you can basically uh, boot into stuff like Android, Ubuntu, custom firmware, stock NAND, you can do many different things on the V1 but like I said on the patch consoles you are limited to what you can do. So once you've done this what you want to do is go ahead and close this down, close this, close this and what we're going to do is go ahead and eject the USB. Once that's ejected, which it has, I believe, I'll just double check. Yes, it has. Um, what I'll actually do now is I will switch over onto my phone camera and I'll show you guys how the fast CFW works. So just bear, me, bear with me, guys, while I switch onto the phone camera and I'll see you over there. So guys, as you can see, we're now over on the Nintendo Switch console and what I've done is I've gone ahead and opened up the Tesla menu and obviously booted into atmosphere prior to doing this reason i've opened tesla menu before starting the video recording is because it's pretty difficult to press the left shoulder button down on the directional pad and the right analog in at the same time whilst holding the camera so i've done this so as i said previously on the patch consoles you've only really got one option which is to fast reboot to Hecate so I'm basically going to show you this working now so if I click A on fast CFW switch as you can see there's an option in there for Hecate go ahead and click A on this what it's going to do now is it's going to quickly reboot back into Hecate rather than having to use the um, power button and going through the rigmarole of going to power options shut down or click and restart this is just basically going to throw you back to hecate so yeah guys thanks for watching the video if this has helped in any way shape or form please like comment and subscribe to the youtube i'll see you in the next video peace